Hi everyone, it's What's Good. I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to Wild Rift Academy. Um, today we have a lot to talk about, so I'm going to try to go decently fast here. We have a really interesting game going on today. Uh, I'm playing Alistair and I'm going to try to get into some really fun shenanigans, uh, popping people into turret and having some fun. Um, today's lesson is about vision and not necessarily just wards, but vision of everything. What you as a player should be focusing on when you are playing the game. Um, so let's go ahead and start looking at the overview. We're gonna be talking about teammates and enemy placement. That's like probably one of the biggest ones here, which is actually what's happening here. I'm trying to watch where Kha'Zix is because I don't want jungle to lose the buff. We're gonna talk about health bars, wards, objectives, important targets, pings, wave position, and item and gold difference. So let's get started because it's, it's a lot of content. Um, I'm gonna be roaming as this Alistair, right? So I wanna see, first off, the enemy placement. Who is pushed in and who's pushed up? I see this Galio, and he is way too pushed up. So I wanna see if we can get something cute off. We burn his flash, that was awesome, super easy. Now, I wanna see, as a jungler, as a support, as any character, who is pushed up versus pushed in. What does that mean? Pushed up is when a character is pushed away from their tower. So if you are closer to the enemy tower, you are pushed up. If you are under your tower, you are pushed in, all right? So I'm in this game trying to see who is pushed up versus pushed in. Um, I know I shouldn't have taken Relic Shield because I was roaming so much. Um, I realized that halfway through the game. <laughs> so mistakes. But again, I see that Galio is pushed up again. So I'm gonna see if I can get something. I flash this, pop him up, boom, easy, easy money. <laughs> And so we're able to get something going there and I get my Gwen a decent kill. So, who is roaming, guys? I want to no, see I'm who angry. is roaming. Kha'Zix is roaming like crazy. Doesn't know what to do. There's all this crap going on. Rakan doesn't know what to do because I'm roaming. So, that side of the map is a little dangerous. Which is interesting because it opens up bot lane. Which is where Baron's at right now. Baron lane. Is opening that up. Jungle's on the other side and support is roaming as well. It means that my Samira has a 1v1, and it means my Aurelia has a little bit more of a 1v1 against the Kennen. So you're gonna see how that comes into play. But who is roaming, guys? I wanna see where people are at. That means mid and bot have to be super careful here in this game. Super careful because who is going all around? If Yasuo messes this up, that's a Rakan pop up to a Galio pop up to a Galio stun or ta uh, taunt. That's that's death. <laughs> Into a Kha'Zix ult or an a Kha'Zix jump. We have to be careful on that side. So that's why I'm trying to like see where's vision. But again, Galio is pushed up, so I'm trying to walk on over and get something going. So we'll see what happens here. Um, am I able to get something? No, he walks away. Sometimes, guys, you gotta let the gank go. Sometimes we like try to force it. We try to get them under tower. It doesn't work all the time, so just be careful. Um, where is jungle? Look at the map here and see, can you find jungle anywhere? No, this is super dangerous, guys. We don't know where Kha'Zix is at. Yasuo is super low. This is why you have to be paying attention to the map. Yasuo does the good job there, or does a good job, and leaves. Fantastic. MF, I think, was typing, and then just ends up giving up here until we get a cool kill. <laughs> I don't know why she'd be doing that, but whatever. We have to be paying attention to where jungle is, because it's very easy for us to let the game go if jungle is just roaming and we're just giving away decent kills and we're just pushed up all the time. So here I get really cocky. I want to go and get this thing with jungle. I'm not paying attention though. And sure enough, I think that I can just outlive everything with my fault. I cannot apparently live outlive a Galio, Rakan, and Kha'Zix. <laughs> So that was my beat. But this is questions that you have to ask yourself, guys, is where are the players? Where are my teammates versus where are the enemy teammates? If you mess this up, guys, and you're not paying attention, this is how games get out of control. And you're gonna see that later on with an Aurelia death. When we overcommit to something and our teammates aren't there, like what happened with me right now, right? You can give easy gold away. And so that's something we have to be careful about. 
Um, I use sweeping lens here to get in on this Kenan. Kenan just believes that everything's happening on the top side, but she thinks it's no big deal. I get into position, I pop Kenan, and we're able to get a stun into, I believe, another stun here. Boom! And this is bad news for everyone, and Aurelia got a kill. <laughs> and Aurelia is just a little bit closer now to Blade of the Room King. So let's see what's going on real fast. Boom, boom, boom. Kazus is here. I'm popping him away just to keep Aurelia safe. No big deal. Guys, I also want to look at player behavior. Galio is a good example of that in this game here. No disrespect to the player, but he was definitely pushed up a lot, playing super aggressive. I don't think he was counting on an Alistair to be ganking. Uh, and I think Kennen thought the same thing. So you have to watch player behavior. Not only do we have to watch where the enemy is at and our teammates are at, but we have to watch the behavior. If I see my ADC doesn't pay attention a lot to like fights, then I'm gonna be careful starting anything. If I see that the other player is very aggressive, like enemy players are very aggressive and they're not paying attention to pressure, let's see if we can get something going here. Oh, there we go. And Samira with the steel, dude. What's up? And can we get some infantry off here? Boom! <laughs> yeah, we were able to get something going there. Just, again, super simple stuff. All right, we're looking at where the players are at. And I guess it worked, man. It worked. <laughs> but let's see what's going on here. Um, so we talked about who's pushed in versus who's pushed up, who's roaming, who, where is their jungle. Guys, if you take anything from that section, is where is their jungle? Where is their jungler? <laughs> and oh, here's an example of it. I want to know where Kha'Zix is at. I know he's off of Death Timer. So I'm looking to see if MF rotates. We got Vision. I see Kha'Zix. And I'm going to flash in just to get rid of him. Because if he jumps and smites, it will break my heart. <laughs> This is what I'm trying to say. Look at this. This is a perfect example. The fight's over, guys. Leave. Take your winnings. <laughs> they keep going. They keep... I'm, I'm super low. I'm literally just trying to save Gwen here. Irelia kept going, guys. Sometimes, dudes, you guys just walk off with your wins, right? You won, man. You won up Blackjack. You hit the jackpot in the slots. Leave with your winnings, bro. <laughs> Right, stop chasing kills. So again, player behavior, I know that my Aurelia can be aggressive like that, so I might not be around her too much. I'm probably gonna be doing other stuff. But let's check out health bars real quick, man. So let's look, Gwen is at kind of like half health. So I gotta be careful starting anything and expecting Gwen to show up. Yasuo is doing fine, but he's got like at half mana. I want to keep an idea of who is low on their side and who is low on my side because that will dictate how you can start fighting. Boom! I just want to get rid of MF. I do not want her to ult, which she was. Perfect. Knocked her out of the ult. That is bad news bears to that MF. So let's see here. Um, we are literally just chasing kills right now and I make a big old boo boo there. I accidentally press my S3 instead of my S1. And I'll do that again later on. Now look at health bars. We should leave. <laughs> and I mess it up again. <laughs> but our teammates should leave. They should leave. It was too dangerous. We should not have stayed there. Luckily, we're, we get out safe, but uh, too dangerous, too dangerous. I am looking for this cannon. I'm doing the exact thing you shouldn't be doing. I'm chasing kills. And on top of everything, I pop her out on accident. <laughs> so that's what's going on, man. Um, okay, so let's see what else is happening here. Let's go on to the next subject, which is wards. Oh, actually, no, there's one more thing I want to talk about. Um, now that you know about health bars, you have to decide when to go in, right? You go in when you guys have the advantage. You go in when you think that you have more health or more mana than the enemy. So super simple, guys. And when to be a hero, you will, like like that Aurelia, you know how she was roaming? I totally could have gone over and tried to keep her safe. But what if I gave them Aurelia kill and Neum as well? That's like 700 gold there. If Aurelia has a shutdown or something like that, or she's, you know, going crazy, that might be more like 900. 
And so that's very dangerous there. Pop cannon just to make sure that you can't ult the whole team. Keep Gwen safe, and that will actually lead to something really cool. Cannon should have just walked away. Again, health bars. Boom! Easy peasy, man. <laughs> You gotta know when to walk, you gotta know when to hold them, when to hold the boys. So, and girls, excuse me. <laughs> so when to go in, that's a perfect example there. She already got the kill, man, walk away, just walk away. And, and when to be a hero. I don't have to save that Aurelia, right? There was a good chance that she was gonna die as well. There was like three people up there during that fight. But with Gwen, it was just her versus Kha'Zix. I know that I can pop him out. So I did, I did. And I was able to keep both of us safe. So something to think about, guys, you have to decide when it's time to be the hero. Just because someone is fighting a 1v3 does not mean you need to jump into it. Engage. Right? Lessons, lessons. All right, let's go to wards. Where is it safe to put a ward? Okay, so where I'm standing right now, that bush, that's a great place to put a ward. It'll keep you safe. The enemy side, that bush that's parallel to it, great place. When you're in laning phase, this MF, man. <laughs> Easy kill. Um, she had no wards, dude. Bad idea, man. If you're gonna be pushing, here's a rule of thumb. Here's the great rule of thumb. Do not push past river if you do not have vision. <laughs> do not push past river if you do not have vision. Okay. Um, Rakan, dude, super great play. Able to get a steal. We'll see what happens here. We still get crazy kills here. So that's like a, what? 1,200 gold swing? Well, we lose dragon, but at what cost to the enemy team, man? At what cost? So, where is it safe to put wards down? This is where they're pushed in, the enemy is pushed in to their side and they're on death timers. This is where we should be warding their jungle like crazy. Wards everywhere, because we wanna know when they're going into jungle to kind of clean up and catch up, okay? We are currently up seven kills, we should have been warding, right? Good rule of thumb. If you are pushed in though, on your side, do not try to put enemy wards down on in their jungle, right? You should be putting wards in your jungle to keep an eye as to when the enemy is rotating over to your side. And if you don't have vision of jungle or anybody and you try to go to the enemy side, enemy that's a good way to get killed. So you wanna be careful there. I also wanna know if I'm roaming, where is the enemy blind, guys? So let's see what happens here real quick. I pop Kha'Zix out, see if I can get something going here. My teammate, Samira, is doing her own thing. She kinda of starts coming in. Um, but we were not all on the same page. Uh, I go in with my jungler, I probably should have pinged, but at the same time, again, where is the enemy versus where are my teammates? That was kind of a mistake on all of us. We were not paying attention to objective, we were doing our own things, and that's how they got a quick four kill and catch up. Um, so no bueno, no bueno. And they get tower, so they get dragon, they get four kills, and tower, guys. That's terrible. That's a good way to lose the game. <laughs> And they drop Harold, bro. This is super bad, man. Like, that's a swing if there ever was one. So, things to think about, guys, when it comes to wards. And again, where is the enemy? Where are my teammates? Okay. Um, I'm looking right now, and I'm like, hey, look. Kennen's up in top, and so is MF. That's two. It's going to take him forever to get down the Baron. Like, let's go for it. Okay? So, this is we're moving on to the subject, which is objectives. I want to know where the enemy is versus where they are at. Aurelia should have just given it up. I don't know what she's doing. She's tilted probably, not paying attention to the map. This would have been so much safer if Aurelia was here, but she's not paying attention. Again, where's the enemy? Where are my teammates? She's not paying attention to ping. So let's see what happens here. Samira gets a kill. Galio pops in. She's going crazy. I am doing my best job ever to try to keep the safe. I see the Kha'Zix. I'm trying to pop him up. Boom! We are still able to get the Baron, thankfully. Oh man, but again, where are my teammates? <laughs> where are the enemy, right? That would have been such an easy Baron if Aurelia would have rotated. But she tilted, crap like that happens. What else? Thankfully, we still get it. Funnier thing, you would think she would kill the MF and continue it on. I think an Aurelia can kill an MF under tower, especially that MF, um, but she doesn't. And I'm just gonna check. Yeah, we're still recording. Uh, my, my, my camera stopped recording last time I did this, so I'm just checking. So let's keep going here, guys. 
<laughs> we talked about objectives. I want to look at death timers, guys. I want to look at timers of objectives. If objective is up in like 60 seconds, 70 seconds, I want to start getting ready for objective. I don't want to wait too long. Okay, that was my B. I was not trying to steal it from Samira. Um, so if objective's up pretty soon, I want to be there already. Aurelia should have been there, right? Big mistake by her. Okay. I want to see if I have vision. If I'm there that early, I need to have vision on objective. So I try to get something going here. We have Baron buff. Do we get something here? We're able to do MF all going great. I try to go in to pop her out of all and I accidentally pop the wrong person. So mea culpa, my B. <laughs> and because of that, we are down four people and the game ends. So. It sucks, guys. It happens like that. You know, just we're, you know, I just say, let's give them the game. You know, I don't want to surrender. Oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> What's this? The MF, good guy MF, decides to not finish the game. Guys, again, dude, pay attention to the map and death timers, right? We were down for 15 seconds still. If anything, they could have finished the game or at least brought down I mean, uh, base to like a third health, right? Super bad. I mean, I guess she went for the more conservative play. You still get two towers, two inhibitor towers, but... <laughs> so when we're talking about objectives too, guys, I want to know where is the jungle. Again, remember what I was doing that earlier when I was making sure Tavage wasn't that drag? the same crap here, dude. I want to know where jungle is at. Uh, I'm going to die here, but I think we get a decent little clean. Samira is going to go ahead and get that kill. I'm not a clean, but we get two kills, so not too bad. Not too bad. Um, they're just going to roam for a little bit, so we can keep going here. I want to know where my team, my enemy jungle, uh, the enemy jungler is at, and I want to know where my jungler is at. If they're nowhere near objective, guys, do not start objective, okay? You do not have smite more often than not. You don't get it. And just like what happened earlier, you are going to give them objective, like the dragon, four to five kills, because people are gonna start dominoing deaths into there. And then on top of that, you are going to give them all of the gold, which is terrible. And that means that you're not, A, you're not getting experience, B, you gave them all the gold, and then you probably gave them map pressure. It's terrible, guys. Do not start objective if jungler isn't ready to go, okay? And if your jungler sucks, I apologize, but don't flip the game like that. It's not gonna work, dude. It's just not gonna work, okay? And if you can't see their jungler, their jungler's probably at the objective. <laughs> or you're hanging around it, waiting to steal. So let's see what happens here. I'm out of position, I'm trying to get in. Galio uh, hops in. Um, for a terrible uh, ult. Uh, I see the cannon. I'm not able to get the pop like I want. And I think, yeah, cannon's able to get out. Kazix is dead. We have three on death timers, guys. Again, paying attention to what's going on. Paying attention to timers. Let's steal it. And I'm still watching. And Rakan with the steal, dude. What a great Rakan, man. What a great Rakan. <laughs> So I'm just saying, listen, there's still on death timers. Let's go ahead, let's try to take Baron here. Aurelia is having none of it, super tilted, just gonna do her own thing. Um, probably not gonna happen, we'll see. Okay, so let's keep going here to the next subject, which is important targets, guys. When you're at objective, jungler is the important target, right? When you're at the objective, your job is to isolate and get rid of jungler. Okay, please listen to me here. Do not target the tank. Do not, that's the, that's their, oh gosh, do not target the tank, guys. Uh, thankfully, we come to our senses before we get killed and give them in uh, Baron and two kills, because uh, they were right there. But don't target the tank, guys, All right? People are targeting me like crazy. That means that they're leaving Aurelia, Samira, Gwen, and Yasuo alive. Terrible idea, guys. Okay, target important targets. When we're at objective, we take out jungler, right? If you see an MF ulting, we take out the MF. And you can assassinate these characters by a quick use of like the uh, Hextech uh, Proto Belt here, or Proto Belt, excuse me, and, um, or Flash. You can totally isolate a target and get rid of them, okay? So we wanna think about what's important, all right? Yasuo was telling me to get the heck out of there. Uh, I think I'm trying to figure out what the play is. I'm like, are we gonna do Baron, are we not? Um, we clear ward and we get out. 
Okay, because I see three on the other side. I'm like, yo, you know, what do we think here? What's gonna happen? Uh, but we end up not doing it, which is fine. It's fine. You know, sometimes you're gonna make calls and it's not the right call. Guys, so we want to look at for jungler at objectives. We want to oftentimes when they're not take out the ADC because if they're good, like a Tristana, they're the backbone of the team. And so we've got to get rid of them. Um, or we want to take out the gold leader, dude. Um, if Galio is just popping off, we want to take him out. Ooh, take that and rewind it back. Let's go. See you later, brother. Yeah, holy pushed up way too much. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to be, be the hero here. I'm able to get a sick pop up. Man, feeling myself there for a second. And my Yasuo and Aurelia are able to get some fun killed. And I have no idea why Kha'Zix went in. But again, pay attention, guys. They were down three characters, and the health bars were really high. I think that that was just a bad play. Happens to the best of us. But look at that. We have death timers of... 20 seconds, and Rakan is dead, so he's not a steal. <laughs> this is a pretty easy dragon to take. Okay, and Gwen is communicating. She's got smile a thousand, so we just gotta hurry up and get it to a thousand. And Samira is playing defense, and she's doing a great job. And Galio should have just accepted, bro. I have four down. I'm not gonna get to steal. Okay. And so let's keep going here. I love that she's painting that. I love the ping for the communication because. Many a games are lost when base is just overrun by minions and we're not paying attention, okay? You want to pay attention when we're looking at pings to who is missing. Just who is missing, guys, right? You need to be pinging who is missing from your lane. It is your fault. I'm going to say it again. It's your fault if the Akali rotates down a bot or the cat rotates down a bot and gets a double kill. It is your fault, right, if you're the mid. It's your fault. It's your fault if you see it and you're, you're a Baron laner and you don't ping it. It's your fault, okay? Because... If you saw it, or someone else saw it, and nobody communicated it, and so this, let's see what happens here. I rotate out because this is dangerous, and I noticed that there's some fruits. I want to get fruit to get back in the fight. Excuse me. But it's your fault, man, if somebody roams, and you had vision of them, and you didn't ping it. It's your fault. Okay? And so that's no reason to blame anyone else. Yeah, you can blame that they don't have vision, that they don't see, you know, Akali coming down or Cat coming down, but you saw it already. It's your fault. It's your fault. I'm gonna check them out one more time. Yeah, we're still good. We're still good. Yes. Okay. So I want to see who's pinging really well. I want to work with them. So Yasuo is doing a pretty good job of pinging. So I want to work with him throughout this game. Aurelia is terrible at pinging in this game. So whatever. I also want to talk about wave position now, guys. Where are cannon waves? Where are slow pushes happening? This is why I recall here. I am terrified that we're gonna mess this up somehow. So I go back. Just to stall this wave, and thankfully my four damage dealers are able to clean this up. So paying attention to waves, super important. You will lose games quickly if you're not paying attention to slow pushes. And split pushers, love that you're not paying attention. So FYI. Last thing I want you to think about is who's got a good item and who's got the gold diff, right? Galio almost flips this game because he gets one item, Banshee's Veil. Something to think about, guys. You need to be paying attention to builds. And that's it, dudes. That's the rest of this game. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below if I went too quick. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.